Mayday, Mayday, we have an emergency. You realize right away that they're in a real a bad situation. LL 1862, do you wish to return to Schiphol? Affirmative. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Turn right, heading 260. The crew now has a heading back to the airport. But with hydraulics failing, the captain is having more and more difficulty controlling the plane. Watch your pitch. Uh -huh. Then the crisis gets much worse. We have a fire number three. A new warning tells the crew one of the engines is on fire. Shutting down engine three. We have a fire in engine three. Roger. You've got to get the fire out quickly, because if fire starts, that's serious, because it will structurally damage the airplane very rapidly. Number three fire extinguisher. Hold it. The crew triggers the fire extinguisher and waits for it to douse the flames. They had not only to keep control of this really stricken airplane, they also had to go through the routine for putting the fire out. OK, we still have a fire warning. The procedure has no effect. The crew can't see their engines from the cockpit. They have no idea how bad the fire might be. When it doesn't work, you are getting into real pressure to put the aircraft back on the, on, on the ground very quick. We need to land, see if they can get us down on runway 27. We have a fire in engine three. Engine three and four in operative. Request runway 27 for landing. The captain knows the airport. He wants to land on the longest runway at Schiphol. In that case, heading 360, heading 360. Roger, 360. It's the pilot who decides what can be done, especially with an airplane which is as badly stricken as this one. The air traffic controller's job is to facilitate that request from the air. That'll give you a right turn to cross the localizer. You only have seven miles to go from current position. Damn it. The crew is now facing another huge challenge. There's no way that we can slow down at this distance. We're going to have to go around again. Agreed. They're too close to the airport to slow down in time to land. Captain Fuchs decides to make a descending turn over Amsterdam so he can lose speed and altitude before coming into land. They have no power on the right side, no hydraulics. These pilots had an airplane which was scarcely flyable, but they didn't know why. There is a at 3 o'clock. Got it. The crew has to make one final turn to line up with the runway. 1862, your speed is? Speed is 260. Despite the unexplained damage to his plane, Fuchs manages to guide the 747 toward the runway. Very difficult controlling the aircraft in this situation, but they control the aircraft the full 360 degrees back. The speed's a little high. Are we stable enough to make the runway? We'll see. The crew has no doubt. This will be the riskiest landing they've ever attempted. Here we go. Flight 1862 is less than three minutes from landing. All right, let's get the gear down. Gear down, three green. Amsterdam's airport is tantalizingly close. Reducing speed. 
Captain Yitzhak Fuchs slows his plane and calls for the flaps. Flaps too. He wants to increase the wing's surface area. Flaps too. To add lift at the slower speed he needs for landing. All right, nice and easy. 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 No, 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 no. Uh, we're losing it. The plane is once again rolling to the right, and this time it's worse. The pilot realized that by going slower, he was having even more control problems than he already had. LL, further right, heading 310. Heading 310. Controllers urge the pilots to correct their course to the runway. I can't hold it, I can't hold it! Uh, we have a controlling problem. They realized that their aircraft was uncontrollable. No, no! Come on! Going down! Going down, 1862, going down! Going down! Come on! Hit the building and, and cut it like a knife. LL 1862 has slammed into an 11-story apartment block. 